What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be comparing my watch from Casio and my watch from Armatron. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So we'll start with the Armatron because I had this one first. My Armatron watch, all black, open clasp, just like so, right? Locks in like this. It's got a chronograph, I guess, analog style face. Um, I need to get the battery replaced in this. And it was a gift. I've had this watch for, since 2017. I've had the watch since 2017. And it was a gift when I was on my first deployment. And I really, really like this watch. I like how just stable the watch is. I like how quality the watch is. I've never, it's never broken. I've only got, I don't even have any scratches on it. It's just a very, very well fitting watch. It's not super, super heavy. And it's also really, really nice. And the serial number, honestly, you know which one this is, is the 4692T, right? 4692T, it's got 165 feet of water resistance. So pretty good. You can probably get splashed by water, but I would not suggest obviously dunking it in water. Uh, but overall, this is a really, really nice watch. My other watch that I have is by Casio, All right? This is my Casio. This is my A168. So my Casio A168, there is its face. I like this one because of how light it is when I put it on. Also like how recognizable it is by other people, even by people who are not watch people. You understand that this, these watches are actually really, really good watches. And for how light it is, it actually feels very, very good when it comes to the quality. I like the shape of it, the shape is very different. I have mostly circle watches, mostly watches come in circles. So having this square kind of square kind of thing. It's actually pretty dope. Um, price point for the two of these. Um, this one, my girlfriend bought, bought me, so these both were gift. My girlfriend bought this one for like $19. Versus this one, when it was, uh, when it was bought for me for my team, it's a $60 watch. So I guess you could say there may be a, there's definitely a weight difference in these two, but these, again, these two are actually very, very good. It's also a major, major size difference as you can tell, and it is something that you need to keep in mind. But honestly, Armatron doesn't get as much um, attention as Casio does. Casio has G-Shock, these historical watches, things like that, but Armatron shouldn't be slept on. It's definitely a very, very affordable option for people. I'm also a brand ambassador for Armatron. So if you follow the link in my description for a whole host of watches from their site and use the code FIN10, for 15% off, each you 15% off of any of these already affordable watches. Again, I will get a kickback from that, just to be completely honest with you. So that's how um, I'll make a little bit of money to help fund this channel. And as I'm starting to get those kickbacks and things like that, I can start buying more of these watches to do watch reviews for you guys. That is all I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.